preserved wood makes up the greatest proportion of material preserved at Must Farm, which goes some way to showing the importance of it in prehistory. From posts to planks, bowls, boxes and tool handles, wood was shaped to make Must Farm. The tools found show all stages of working, from felling the tree, trimming branches, to splitting wood and refining shapes. The, the gouge was part of the Must Farm toolkit, so it was as, as common as, as the sickles and, and the spears and the axes. Gouges are tools at the end of the sequence for refined projects. It's a tool that is immediately familiar to anyone who has done woodworking today. Like chisels and axes, gouges need to be made of a hard material so that they can hold their sharp edge. Bronze is a hard metal made of copper and tin that can be cast into refined shapes with sockets. The number and variety of gouge types found at Must Farm suggests they were used for different types or stages of woodworking, from creating joints to finishing bowls. This is supported by gouge marks still visible on wood found around the site. The analysis of the woodworking suggests that the gouge was a major part of the construction of the settlement, but also part of the making of sort of everyday objects, so the, the wooden troughs and bowls and things like that, and were certainly made from the gouges that we found. And what supports that is, is that we've got hafted gouges, um, and there's also evidence that the, the ends of the halves have got bruising on them, so where they've been hit with a, a mallet or something like that. So, so for example, we've got gouge tool marks in the mortise holes of the, the big timber beams and things. So, so I think it's, it's very much about the sort of general use and the, the, the sort of the more sort of less refined materials that are being produced and, and, and built within the settlement, as opposed to some of the more finer woodworking. One gouge was found complete with its field maple wood handle, with clear evidence of bruising at the end. It's an incredible find made even more special by many of the wooden objects including troughs and bowls that have marks that closely resemble the blade profile of this complete gouge. A preserved oak mallet with a similar weight to a modern carpenter's mallet may have been the tool used on the gouges and chisels. <laughs>